Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Two men sentenced to massive welfare fraud. Notice the shocking thing they have in common. Two Middle Eastern brothers who were accused of a massive welfare fraud scheme at a Portland grocery store in 2016 have now been sentenced to federal prison. 41-year-old Ali Radabdam of Westbrook pleaded guilty in November to conspiracy to defraud the United States government, money laundering and theft of government funds, he was sentenced to three years Monday. And his brother, 23-year-old Abdul Karim Dam, was sentenced to two years after being convicted of conspiracy to defraud the U.S. during a jury trial. Reports say the two brothers allegedly traded $1.4 million in federal food benefits for cash. Federal agents raided the Akram Halal market back in 2016 after being tipped off about unusually high sales at the establishment involving food stamps. Prosecutors then confirmed the brothers allowed customers to exchange food assistance benefits for cash at a discounted rate from June 2011 through April 2016. That's five years of fraud. A federal prosecutor called the scheme one of the largest, if not the largest, fraud cases involving Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, benefits in Maine. Here is more on this story via the New York Daily News. Portland, Maine, two brothers accused of a massive welfare fraud scheme at a Portland grocery store have been sentenced to federal prison. The Bangor Daily News reports that 41-year-old Ali Radabdam of Westbrook pleaded guilty in November to conspiracy to defraud the United States government, money laundering and theft of government funds. He was sentenced to three years on Monday. He was sentenced to three years in prison for the $1.4 million scam according to the Bangor Daily News. A federal prosecutor called the case one of the largest, if not the largest, fraud cases involving Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, benefits in Maine, the Bangor Daily News reported. His brother 23-year-old Abdul Karim Daim was sentenced to two years after being convicted of conspiracy to defraud the U.S. during a jury trial. Federal agents raided Akram Halal Market in 2016 after being tipped off of unusually high sales at the market coming from food stamps. Prosecutors said the brothers had allowed customers to exchange food assistance benefits for cash at a discounted rate from June 2011 through April 2016. The older brother will have to cough up $1.4 million in restitution, while the younger brother was ordered to pay $955,000, the Bangor Daily News reported. The Dahems are Iraqi natives who fled the country in the mid-2000s during Iraqi freedom and opened the Portland business in 2011. In a statement the older brother said he broke the law in order to help Portland's immigrant community, but Assistant U.S. Attorney James Chapman argued that the welfare for cash fraud harmed those immigrants by providing ammunition to those who would seek to restrict welfare benefits. The brothers were also ordered to pay restitution and sentenced to supervised release following their prison terms. This is just sick. Even though most large-scale welfare fraud cases seem to involve Middle Eastern men these days, these two brothers' case is worse. They commit food stamp fraud in order to enrich themselves and then they say they did it to help the community? Seems like an argument a drug dealer might make as to why he sells illegal drugs on the street. Here is more information on another case of food stamp fraud via Angry Patriot. A massive welfare fraud scheme was unearthed and ultimately sent 14 people to jail. The criminals who stole from Americans' taxpayers all have one very significant thing in common. The Baltimore-area retail store operators charged with welfare fraud all have Middle Eastern names. The fraud indictment states the retail store operators received more than $16 million in federal, i.e. taxpayer-funded, reimbursements for food they did not actually sell to the poor, CBS reports. Welfare fraud, commonly referred to as food stamp trafficking, cheats we the people out of our hard-earned money. The USDA Food and Nutrition Service must approve all the retailers who offer the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program SNAP, formerly known as the Food Stamp Program. In Maryland, poor citizens are provided an Electronic Benefit Transfer Card, or EBT card, to buy groceries. The card functions like a debit card and is scanned at an approved store's checkout. Retailers who participate in the Food Stamp Program deduct the cash value of the purchase from the consumer's SNAP balance. The USDA then pays retailers for the purchased food after sending a bill to the federal government. The Baltimore welfare fraud defendants are accused of exchanging EBT benefits for cash. The store provides the welfare recipient cash instead of food with enough leftover for the store to also make a profit. Such schemes are believed to occur in states around the country. The food stamp recipients who participate in such schemes are also committing an illegal act and defrauding the American people who pay for their food. USDA has a zero-tolerance policy on fraud, 
and we continue to strengthen our anti-fraud tactics to identify and exclude bad actors. More than any other factor, we know that the change in the trafficking rate is being driven by the growth in the number of smaller retailers where trafficking occurs at 10 times the rate of larger grocery stores and supermarkets, said Kevin Kincannon, Agriculture Undersecretary for Food, Nutrition, and Consumer Services, as per USDA. In an effort to avoid getting caught, the suspects with Middle Eastern names who own the stores had the welfare recipients debit money from the cards in a series of transactions over hours or days, the Department of Justice said. Some of the store operators allegedly sold food at substantially reduced prices and then split the federal reimbursement money with the food stamp participants. The food stamp program is intended to put food on the tables of needy recipients, not to put money in the pockets of greedy criminals, said United States Attorney Rod J. Rosenstein. Honest store owners work hard to earn a profit by actually selling food, and food producers and distributors also benefit. People who play by the rules deserve to know that criminals who defraud them will be held accountable. The welfare fraud defendants face up to 20 years in prison for each count of wire fraud, up to five years behind bars for conspiracy to commit food stamp fraud and wire fraud, and a maximum of five years in jail for food stamp fraud. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.